never be good, be good again I've been nothing but a girl who really should be nothing less Pull me up and don't you tell us so how you actually feel If you do then they'll cut you right at the heel and it hurts Mayong adlaw sa tanan. Today's video, we're going to take you for a close and personal of this 2023 Kia Sorento. And for this video, I'm going to take this Kia Sorento for a startup and a full in-depth tour review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. And without further ado, so let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this review. First of all, special thanks to Grand Canyon Incorporated Kia Motors Iloilo for making this video possible. And special thanks to Mr. Andropo, the uh, president of Grand Canyon Incorporated, and uh, Ms. Christine Maranyon, the marketing manager of Grand Canyon Incorporated and the Daily Drive, and all the rest of the teams as well. So if you have any uh, inquiries, you may head down to their dealership or you may contact them by the contact details in the description box below. So let's begin with our review. What made it interesting is the new Kia's key fob, which are currently available in all key latest models in the country. The design is reminded me of a European brand, and the fob itself is premium, elegant, and very nice to the touch. Plus, it is easy to handle. On the sides of the fob contains lock, unlock, power tailgate function, and engine start-stop buttons. Speaking of engine start-stop, the Kia Sorento SX does come standard with a remote engine start function. So, in order to start the Sorento's engine, make sure that the car is locked, then press and hold the engine start-stop button on your key fob. Without further hesitations, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. If you lock the car, the side mirrors will automatically fold in. And if you unlock the car, the side mirrors will fold out again. Standard feature for the Sorento SX is a Kia's Smart Keyless Entry System. With the key fob in you, you will utilize the black button found in both front door handles in order to lock and unlock the vehicle. To start the Sorento, make sure that the key fob is inside the vehicle. Put your foot on the brake and hit this engine start stop button to fire up the engine. The Sorento is equipped with a Kia's motor-driven power steering system which is essentially an electric power steering system with a rack and pinion setup. For the SX variant, it does come with a 3-spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with sport grips attendant to, gloss black accents at the bottom spoke, and a mounted controls are found at the left and right spokes of the wheel which is accentuated with gloss black and chrome highlights. Thus, there is a satin chrome highlights that surrounds the horn ring. Under a 2.2-liter SmartStream D turbo diesel engine, the Sorento comes with one transmission choice, and that is the 8-speed dual-clutch transmission or DCT in short. So, 
What is the role of a DCT? It is essentially an automatic transmission that contains two different sets of clutches. In turn, the first clutch functions the odd gears, whereas the second clutch functions the even gears. Through this mechanism, it provides smoother shifts, less lag between shift times, and better fuel economy. Manual shifting action is available for this transmission. Standard features that you get in this car are the reverse camera with multiple sets of views and dynamic guidelines, along with a 360-degree around-view camera, as well as front and rear parking sensors. The Kia Sorento is powered by a SmartStream D, 2.2-liter dual-over cam, 16 valves, and a turbocharged inline 4-cylinder diesel engine with common rail direct injection and variable geometry turbo. The engine generates 199 horsepower at 3800 rpm and 441 newton meters of torque between 1750 and 2750 rpm. Fuel tank size is 67 liters with emission rating of Euro 4. An 8 speed dual clutch transmission is the sole transmission for this engine, and the drivetrain of the Sorento is a front wheel drive vehicle. Coming from a 2.2 liter turbo diesel engine, the fuel economy of the Sorento has achieved at around 8.6 km per liter in the city, while on the highway it could get between 24.4 and 26.6 km per liter. Cruising along this distance travel, considering it, it could pass the test. However, in the city, like in the horrendous traffic, this might be the downside for this, even though this is a diesel. But that's okay. So what is going on here? The Sorento is Kia's midsize crossover SUV, which it made into the global market since 2002. In short, the nameplate has been around for more than two decades. Speaking of the nameplate, there is some speculation on where the nameplate is coming from. Most of it came from the Bay of Naples or in a small village in southern Italy, while the other story, it was named after the city of Western Australia. Anyway, the Kia Sorento within the two-decade time encountering four generations so far. What we have here is a sophisticated fourth generation model and I'd like to contrast it to its sibling, the Kia Carnival, just to ensure what are the differences between the two regarding to what is important such as benefits, practicality, and affordability. Right now, let's talk about the Kia Sorento and how crazy this bad boy regarding to its styles, features, benefits, and practicality. Secondly, is it worth it on your money? We'll see. The fourth generation Kia Sorento was first ever witnessed in the Philippines way back in November 2021 with only two variants available such as the EX and the SX. Today, we will be featuring the top of the line SX variant and I'm pretty sure this one gets a top notch quality in terms of features, tech, comfort, and design. How do we indicate it? To the exterior. While well, looking at the all-new Sorento, it looks like it gets slimmer and more beautifully handsome compared to the previous one. Moreover, it gets a sexy aggressive design all throughout of the car's body silhouette with some premium cosmetic touches which Kia has the guts to make this SUV like a true work of art. Looking at the front clip, you notice that the face of the car is pretty minimalistic like this tiger nose front grille here which looks absolutely sexy with some chrome touches combined with an automatic LED multi-reflector headlights and LED daytime running lights giving the Sorento a seductive style making it more attractive. All of which are standard for all brands of the Sorento including the LED front fog lights. To be honest, the only Sorento is artistically premium which indicates the chrome accents that are found anywhere including the window frames, the door handles, and some accents are found underneath at the side mirrors, at the black lower claddings, and anywhere and everywhere. Look at on the sides, you get LED indicators on the side mirrors that are powered adjusting and folding and we cannot forget because since this is an SUV, a silver painted roof rails are also standard as well. Going towards the back, the rear fascia of the car gets a striking macho feel giving the Sorento a seductive look with these rear diffusers that are finished in satin chrome adding a sporty vibe on it. Plus you get LED rear combination lights that are standard for this SX variant and looking at the rear lights of the car, it looks actually very simple but clever and straightforward. Lastly, this car is equipped with a rear spoiler integrated with an LED third brake light. Visually, the Sorento's body silhouette is actually darn seductively sexy, 
with this nice Aurora Black Pearl color, which is very interesting to see, that reminds me the car of a Mafia boss. <laughs> On the inside, there are lots of premium and advanced features that you get coming from a 2.6 million peso price tag. You get a comfortable leather seats with ventilation, highly advanced technology, and other luxurious materials that are visible, like the wood trim finish on the dash. As you feel the interior, you may sense some soft touch materials anywhere, which is pasado siya from its price point. I might say that the Sorrento's cabin made me impressed because the way it looks, the way it feels, and every ways, it reminded me of a luxury European car, sort of like an executive class. Wow! If we talk about practicality, this without a question that you get a decent amount of cabin space. But there is a problem. Whether you choose a companion or a luggage when you go for an adventure trip. The bottom line here is all about the practicality. Therefore, I would say when you load more passengers and stuffs. I think this is good though, but with a limited numbers that would take. Long story short, it is not highly capable for much more practical stuff than the Kia Carnival. Space-wise, the carnival is much roomier than the Sorrento, so to speak. To end up the story, the Kia Sorrento is actually one of the best mid-size crossover SUVs that you get in the line, which you get a premium and class-leading finish from inside and out, highly advanced technology, and a high-quality comfort. However, if you're talking about its practicality and its benefits, it will be considered as well suited to its needs. But when it comes to its space, I think you will choose a carnival over to the Sorrento because it offers you a limited of space for your family and stuff during a vacation trip. Plus, the price points are totally expensive in this type of class. On the good side, the sporty luxuriousness of the car is actually sublime on the road on its intricate eye-catching design packed with these features that are mentioned, and from there, maybe you should get ready your huge amount of budget to take this bad boy here out of the road. 19-inch alley wheels which are wrapped in Goodyear Eagle F1 tires that measures 235-55 R19 are the standard shoes of the Kia Sorento SX. Braking system of this car are four-wheel disc setup, and the suspensions are McPherson struts with stabilizers in front and multi-links to the rear. Speaker, storage in the bottle holder, mirror controls, central locking, window controls, all four windows in this car gets a fully automatic function in both directions, and you also have a window lock. This car is featured with a 2% memory seats. A button to activate your lane departure warning, a button to activate your traction control. I mean, this uh, button turns off your traction control. Uh, this button right here, uh, most importantly, uh, controls your or operates your power uh, tailgate. This is your uh, fuse box. Bonnet release lever. The driver's seat of this Kia Sorento gets a fully powered adjustments. With all of your controls located right here, including your four-way lumbar support. Sorrento door sills. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side. However, it loses out on a uh, four-way lumbar support, a thigh adjuster, and a two-stage memory seats.
right. So let's start it up with the door closed. An 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system display head unit is a one of the standard features of the Sorento SX equipped with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and other various media connectivity options, as well as 6-speaker sound system. I must say that the stock sound system of the uh, Kia Sorento is not too bad at all. It's quite good. Leather pad center armrest and underneath you have a big size amount of storage here with a little tray right here which is removable. Malaki. Cubby right, right here to put your phone in. Little cubby, two cup holders. Here are different driving modes. This Kia Sorento has four different driving modes Comfort, Eco, and Smart. Let's put it into eco, so it, so it makes the car so feel efficient. This button right here activates your heated steering wheel. A button to activate your 300, 360 degree uh, around the monitor. A button to activate your or deactivate your hill distance control and this button right here activates your parking sensors both front and rear. This car is featured with with an electronically controlled parking brake to uh, disengage the parking brake, put your phone on the brake and then push the toggle down. And to activate again simply put back up. This car is featured with a with an auto hold function whereby if this system is activated even when you when you arrive at the stop, such as a traffic light or traffic jam or whatever you are in the steep Inca roads, the car won't actually move forward or roll back even when you lift your foot off the brake. Storage with a cover. The small storage right there. Two USB charging ports. And, and another USB right there. This car is featured with a wireless charging. Heated and ventilating cooling seats for both driver and front passenger. Got your two air vents and what is very unique in this Kia Sorento is that it has an up and down action which cool off your uh, your lower part of your body for both driver and front passenger as well as your upper body. Maganda talaga! No? Tingnan nyo! Suave, oh. Got your dual zone automatic climate control system with all the controls 
located right here. With this kind of setup, it is very simple to use, no? Driver side temperature, front passenger side temperature, different modes, air conditioning, recirculation out to the air, air conditioning for the rear ones, fan speed, sync. Now, sync means when you turn on, each side will control for both sides, but if you turn it off, each side will have individual controls. Automatic, off, front and rear defrost, and on top is your hazard switch. So here's the screen itself, and currently you are in a Bluetooth audio streaming. Uh, media device, song title information, artist, album, album art. You can change the device using this uh, tab right here. Go to your menu. It contains your display of media sources. Change device, sound settings. Let's turn the display off. Go to your sound settings. Now, on your sound settings, this controls to your position in which area that you want to calibrate with to your sound system in this car sound tuning where you can just a bass mid-range treble you can turn off the beep Here are your media sources, seek tracks, play and pause, song duration, hit this button to go to your home menu. On your home menu, it contains the current uh, display, such as your Bluetooth audio. This area right here uh, uh, shows that you are connected with the uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. At the bottom, here are your sets of uh, uh, menus. First, let's go to all menus. On your all menus, you got your phone, pro phone projection, voice memo, radio, media, quiet mode, user's manual, and setup. So, so let's go first to setup. Now on your setup, you got your sound, device connections, where you can connect to your Bluetooth, Auto, auto connection priority, privacy mode, and Bluetooth service info, and to your phone projection. Display, whereby you can adjust the illumination, blue light filter, screen saver, recorder icons for the settings, your buttons, here, whereby you can custom a button, mode button for the steering wheel. Now that general, the general contains your SW information update, system info update. Date. You can adjust the date and time, language, change the language, go to your keyboard, media options, and you can reset the info time system into default. Wi-Fi vehicle. Now on your vehicle, it contains your climate and seat. white mode now let's go to phone now on your phone settings here is your um, call history favorite contacts um, contacts your dial pads whatsoever on your main menu if you hit this menu button right here you can edit the left widget right widget home icons and you can go to your uh, users manual on web by the QR code this is how Kia designed the infotainment system nothing less and that's pretty much it in this infotainment system of the of the Kia Sorento
on the left side of the screen, you got your radio button, media button, favorite button, volume power knob. All on the right side is your seek track setup. It brings to your settings. And uh, tune, tune and select knob to the right. Your light indicator controls. If you click on the indicator, whichever you turn, the side view camera or the side rear view camera is activated, In, uh, which is part of the 360 degree around view monitor. Very nice, no? On the left spoke of your steering wheel, you got your voice recognition system, mode button, which goes to your uh, different kind of media sources, and which, by the way, you can edit the the mode button selection via the infotainment system, which I showed you recently. Volume controls. Seek track, and if you hit this button right here, it doubles up as your um, mute button. Unhook and off of buttons for your Bluetooth telephone menu. One on the right side is your uh, speed limit control, your uh, lane departure alert, and this up and down arrows uh, controls to your cruise control. This Selection button right here, up and down arrows and OK button. These buttons right here correspond to control the multi-information display right within the instrument gauge. On the right side is your wiper controls. The steering wheel in this car gets a manual tilt and telescope pick adjusting using this lever right here. Electronic central locking, power, power folding side mirrors to fold the side mirrors in, press this button. Ang bilis ng response. Galing. Low grip handle at the ceiling for the driver's side, driver's side sun visor with a vanity mirror, and a light. A very interesting feature for this car in most uh, Kia and Hyundai brands for having this feature. Whereby if you forgot to turn off, the visor itself closes for you. Interior lights. And reading lights. Your auto dimming review mirror.
front passenger side sun visor with a vanity mirror and a light. The same mechanism as found on the driver's side. Grip handle at the ceiling for the front passenger side. For the front, I mean, for the front passenger side, there's also a central locking button. With a decent sized amount of glove box. Alright. So that is it of our startup. We can put this vehicle off and continue with the rest of our review. Speaker, bottle holder, or you can use it as your storage, cup holder, which you can use it as your bottle holder too or whatsoever, depends on your preference, and right there is your window control. To get access at the rearmost seats, push this button right here. And jump in at the third row. The same thing at the bottom part. The middle row seats can be do fold down in a 60-40 manner. All you need to do is to pull the sever, and there you go. You can alternatively uh, fold down the middle row seat by using the buttons that are located right next to your rearmost seats, which I'm going to show you later on. But for now, let's jump in at the middle row seats of the Kia Sorento. Premium and comfort. This is what the Kia Sorento is all about. As evidence, you can sense a high comfort level of the car via the leather seats itself, which is nice and plush, and that is fit for a king. Now, in terms of space, I do get a generous amount of legroom, so as a decent sized headroom. Therefore, you can enjoy the comfort of the Sorento's mid row seats like an executive class. Also, the middle row seats can actually move forward and back using the bar underneath to determine how much space that will be occupied in either two rows. Located at the front seat backs are storage pockets and a two USB charging ports. On the front passenger side, there is an electronic seat control to adjust the seat back and siding position. In the middle, there are two air vents and downward, you found a 12 volt power outlet and a USB charging port. On both sides in the middle row part, located at the ceiling, are grip handles with coat hooks and there is a cabin light located in the middle on top. Lastly, this car gets a center armrest with two cup holders. Climbing at the third row of the Sorento is actually not bad because of the allowance of access space is right slightly on a tighter side for a tall person like myself, but a short adult or a children could be fit perfectly. Space-wise, I do get a little bit amount of legroom and headroom. Although, the Sorento's third row seat could actually fit a tall person like myself 
but it is not good for a long run because you can't get the comfort that you've wanted like the mid row. The best candidate are children or short adults but you can able to move the middle row seats by using the bar underneath that I mentioned recently to adjust the space in either of the two rows. On both sides, you get storage, cup holders, and air vents and on the right portion of it, there is a control to adjust the fan speed of your rear AC as well as a buttons that you can alternatively fold the middle row seats down. Additionally, there is a 12 volt power outlet. There are numerous ways on how to operate the Sorrento's power tailgate. Boot space of the Sorrento measures 357 liters when all the rear seats are upright. To increase more space, fold the third row seats down and this will create approximately 1,090 liters. And once all the rear seats are folded down, boot capacity of this car expands at around 2,139 liters. Under the boot floor are some storage together with a toolkit and jack. Don't forget, a spare tire is located underneath. The Kia Sorento SX gets a very helpful and high-tech driver's assistance suite such as cruise control, blind spot detection via the view monitor, lane keeping assist, forward collision avoidance assist, rear cross traffic alert, a 360 degree surround view monitor camera display, and parking distance warning by the front and rear sensors. For its safety features, this car is equipped with 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic stability control, downhill brake control, hill start assist control, trailer stability assist, anti-theft system, isofix child seats and tether anchors for the rear seats, and child lock for the rear doors. Thank you for tuning in of the startup and a full in-depth tour review of this 2023 Kia Sorento. I hope you like this video and if you do, make sure you hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget to follow all of my...